Good afternoon, guys. How you doing? And good afternoon, everybody. Shalom, Aisha, and the viewers. Good afternoon, everybody. Shalom, sis. All right, great. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and conduct yeah. your show. So today we're just going to talk. We're going to go straight right in take it. might be a long topic. Um, give me one Genesis. We're going to sure. talk about Adam and Eve. Right. All right, so yeah, go ahead. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of, of God created he him. Male and female created he them. All right, so male and female he created he them. Go ahead. Verse 28. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. All right, and then he blessed them and he told them, be fruitful and multiply. So the Christian church just say that um, Adam and Eve was the first two human beings on the earth. That is not true. What we just read there mm-hmm. is that the Lord created both uh, male and female and he told them to multiply and replenish the earth. Mm-hmm. Which means Adam and Eve was not the first human beings on the earth. It had a ton of human beings right. that he created. Mm-hmm. Right, so we did 31. Verse 31. Mm-hmm. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Right, so this is the sixth day that this happened. On the sixth day, he created a ton of human beings. Mm-hmm. Men and women, and he tell them, multiply and replenish the earth. This was the sixth day. Right. Now again, the Bible is written in metaphors, because it's black people who wrote the Bible. Right. Right, so this day was not a literal day. I'm mm-hmm. going to prove that this day wasn't a literal day in the Bible. Right. Good. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter three and verse eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of right. this one thing. Right. So Peter is saying, don't be ignorant. You see, like how today everybody just ignorant of the fact that this job would really make a get a better fighting chance. We ignorant. Mm-hmm. We say, nah, this job ain't going to make us get a better fighting chance. People rather go in the savannah and get COVID mm-hmm. than to just take the va- the jab or make them get a better fighting chance. Mm-hmm. They rather die from COVID, basically, that is it. Mm-hmm. They just rather be lawless. They rather break the COVID regulations mm-hmm. because they're ignorant. Mm-hmm. So we now, at that time, now we was literally thinking one day was literally 24 hours. So mm-hmm. Peter telling us, hey, don't be ignorant. Mm-hmm. Right? So go ahead, talk, read it over again. For sure. Second Peter 3 and 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as 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 a thousand years. That one day with the Lord mm-hmm. is just as a thousand years. Mm-hmm. So that one day that we just read there and on the sixth day the Lord created mm-hmm. man and woman and tell them multiply and replenish the earth, it was not a literal twenty-four hours. Right. It was wronged about a thousand years. Continue. That's right. And a thousand years as one day. Right. And a thousand years as one day. You understand? Mm-hmm. So, to we it might be a literal 24 hours, but to the, to the Lord, it's really a thousand years. Mm-hmm. The Lord did not literally take 24 hours to, um, barely, well, say, um, six days, right? The Lord didn't literally take six days mm-hmm. to create this universe. Mm-hmm. It was thousands of years. Mm-hmm. That is one of the other proofs to show that it, it had other people besides Adam and Eve. That's right. You understand? So, um, give me the, 20, um, two and, um, seven. the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. All right. He for a man from the dust of the ground and breathed the breath of life into his nostrils. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, before I go into that, just think about um, the metaphor that I said that black people wrote the Bible and we just talk in metaphors. Mm-hmm. If I call somebody, um, okay, if I t- if I waiting for a phone call mm-hmm. from somebody and um, they never call me, mm-hmm. they're taking long to call me, they take hours they, and they still never call me. Mm-hmm. The next day when they call me, I go say, hey, I waiting for you whole day to call me mm-hmm. and you never call me whole day mm-hmm. now the person as well as i know because it's black people gonna be talking that is not literally 24 hours i was sitting on by the phone mm-hmm. waiting for them to call me right it, it it was just a long time period that i was waiting for them mm-hmm. and they never called so i say it was whole day mm-hmm. so when the, the lord said it was six days he created the earth mm-hmm. It was just a metaphor. It was a long time, a thousands of years. He took to create the earth. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to read that 2 and 7. Well, 2 and 7. Mm -hmm. Genesis 2 and 7. And the Lord brought forth man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Oh, and God. man became a living soul. Man became a living soul. So Christians again believe there is some surgery that the Lord did, you know. The, the, um, the, some doctor come and put um, anesthetic. You know, and the Lord come and put some anesthetic or something so in the um, in the dust and make them breed. All right, so um, go ahead, Brooke. It's Brooke. Right. It's so you're good. going to show now what is the better life. Right, that way you're going to show what is the better life. Go mm -hmm. ahead. It's the book of Brooke, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endured forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Right. So, in other words, the law is life. Mm -hmm. And also, once you have the law, which is life, you would have wisdom. Mm -hmm. Right? That is what the breath of life is. Right? The breath of life wasn't the Lord blow on the dust. He literally blow, breeze, mm -hmm. and man was formed. Mm -hmm. You understand? No. It was talking about the law, life, wisdom that he gave mm -hmm. to um, Adam. Mm -hmm. You understand? It was the knowledge, the truth. Before everybody was just like babies, mm -hmm. we just eating anything, doing whatever we want, biting anything, mm -hmm. um, having sex with anything. Mm -hmm. But when the Lord come on the scene now and He gave Adam the laws, Adam knew what to had sex with, mm -hmm. Adam knew what to eat, mm -hmm. Adam knew what not to eat. Right. That was the law that He gave Adam. That was the breath of life. Give me the next Matthew. For sure. Book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 17. Right. <clears throat> and he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Right, but if thou was enter into life, keep the commandments. So the breath of life is the law. Mm -hmm. Right? The breath of life wasn't breeze that the Lord blow onto the dust. And Adam was formed. Right. That is Christian mumbo jumbo. Right. Christian don't know the Bible, they don't have the authority to teach. That's right. They just confuse you. Mm -hmm. Right? So because Adam now he knew the law, mm -hmm. Adam knew what animals to eat, mm -hmm. and he knew what animals not to eat. Right. And with wisdom, Adam that Adam had from gaining from knowing the law, mm -hmm. he knew that eating certain animals would get you sick. Right. And even eating certain animals mm -hmm. can cause a pandemic. Correct. You understand? Research shows that eating shellfish can give you hepatitis A. Mm -hmm. That is what we should So you can get hepatitis A from eating shrimp, mm -hmm. eating um, crab, wagon, lobster. Those things will get you hepatitis A. Mm -hmm. You understand? And, and also there's a law mm -hmm. in the Bible that tells you not to eat shellfish. That's right. So you people who eat and shellfish, there's a highly chance that you'll get hepatitis A, mm -hmm. and then you all go out to take the jab for mm -hmm. hepatitis E. Mm -hmm. But all you no complain about that jab, though. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Even though it has other jabs that has give people side effects and adverse side effects, mm -hmm. all you no complain about that. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I'll complain about this jab, this mm -hmm. COVID-19 jab. I don't know why, mm -hmm. but social media is just powerful now compared to back then. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. So, and there's another thing that research shows. Research also shows that the COVID-19 pandemic started in China mm -hmm. from bats. Mm -hmm. So them was eating bats in China. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was research so that where the COVID-19 started from. Yeah. But guess what? There's also a law in the Bible that says not to eat bats. Correct. Adam knew that. Mm -hmm. Adam knew if he eat bats, it might have caused a pandemic. That is what Adam knew. And if Adam was alive today, if he was here with his wisdom, mm -hmm. you understand? Adam would have knew that we in a pandemic. And you know what? Mm -hmm. We in a pandemic because we eating bats that we disobey the Lord. Mm -hmm. And here what we had to do now to prevent this pandemic. We had to wash our hands. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Watch with distance <laughs> and wear a mask. Right. Because this is not the first pandemic that the world has ever had. Mm -hmm. It had pandemics before... The famous one was what the Spanish flu. Mm -hmm. That was the famous one. Right. We had to do the same thing, mm -hmm. and everybody was crying out mm -hmm. to get a job for that Spanish flu. Right. Now we get a job for it. We making all kind of conspiracy theories. 
And as I always say, if it was only one room alone, mm. I must say might I get frightened. Mm. But it's over what three thousand different rumors in here. Mm-hmm. Three thousand nah it's, it's too much rumors. It's too much. Mm. And when they realize one rumor ain't frightening you, they create a next rumor. Mm-hmm. They realize that rumor not frightening you, they create a next rumor. Mm. And it's so it keep going. Mm. That is it's just games. Mm-hmm. You understand? But social media again, Malcolm X said social media had it powerful. Mm. Social media so powerful, it had the power to make the innocent look guilty mm-hmm. and the guilty look innocent. That was Malcolm X. Mm-hmm. And that's a very true quote. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know and again, if Adam was here, if Adam was alive today, you know what Adam would have do? Mm-hmm. Adam would have consulted his doctor right. to know if he should take his job or not. That's it. Because Adam had the wisdom of the Lord, mm-hmm. and the Lord, in, when they read the Bible, the Lord said to honor your physician. Correct. Your physician is a doctor. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know we may be are scared of these doctors because, you know, mm-hmm. the doctor, some, they said, oh, watch me, they, within this COVID-19 pandemic, doctors does misdiagnose some people. Mm-hmm. But even before this pandemic, it had doctors who was misdiagnosing people. Right. But people wasn't coming out and saying this doctor mm-hmm. cut off my leg and, I'm, and my leg not supposed to be cut off. Mm-hmm. This doctor gave me um, chest, um, tablets for chest pains and mm-hmm. I get blood clots. Nobody never come out and say that. Mm-hmm. But for some strange reason, because of this mm-hmm. um, pandemic, we just creating a rumor mm-hmm. because of social media. Mm-hmm. If I may too. Go ahead. Right? Just the other day, if we look about this one, like about 10 years ago, 20 years ago, tops, right? It had the H1N1 flu going mm-hmm. around, mm-hmm. right? Um, we call it this thing in, um, in Africa. Um, mm-hmm. What do you call it again? The 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 the, 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 the virus is going a little on little, 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 and that one was frightening. It was a little, a little close to this one. That's right. Just as just as about, but the H one N one at the same time was was the same thing. And people before they had to be, if they had to fly out or do anything in particular, they had to go and take that shot. Mm-hmm. And there wasn't this amount of rumors going around spreading across um, the country or the world mm-hmm. uh, as opposed to this. They know basically this is what it is, and people who understood it, you know, they went ahead and do that. They wasn't this panicky and frightened. Because mm-hmm. it didn't have this such an impact and wasn't, you know, showing basically that um, your lifestyle go go give you a, a less of a chance to really take it if you really evaluate it on that scale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can remember in 2005 to go Brazil, you had to take the yellow fever vax mm-hmm. um jab. Mm-hmm. If you didn't take that that yellow fever jab, right. mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. could not go on a plane to go Brazil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody never make no conspiracy about that. Right. So why it is we making conspiracies about this? Mm-hmm. You understand? But. Mm-hmm. Again, if Adam was here today, because he had that wisdom of the Lord, mm-hmm. and the law is wisdom. Correct. If Adam was here today, he would not have even been in that protest yesterday. That's it. You understand? Because Adam would have knew that that is what the virus wants. Correct. You understand? Like mm-hmm. people protesting against the COVID shot, mm-hmm. but they're frightened. You understand? How, how, how to say? They're not frightened mm-hmm. to congregate to get the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know then they're not scared to get COVID and die from it, mm. but they're scared mm. to take the shot. Mm. It's it not, it not adding up. It's it not making sense. Mm. You understand? Know I mean, if all I want to do it, I mean, better to do something else. But mm. congregate to get Thank the you. coronavirus. The amount of people I sure might end up getting sick mm-hmm. from that protest today. Maybe not today or tomorrow. Maybe next week or two weeks from now. You know. Mm-hmm. What we can say, you want to say, go ahead. If I mean so, mm-hmm. because it, it would seem almost uh, almost oxymoron or almost suicidal. Mm-hmm. Because it, it, in, in other words, it's like, I don't want the doctor to, to kill me, if that's what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Because the action is showing that. It's like, you don't want the doctor, you don't want to take the chance that way. You rather go and kill yourself because you know basically that's how it's spreading. Mm-hmm. You know, if you don't believe it, well then, you should be, be so strong in your belief that I just don't take it. And I'll stay where it is. I'd rather congregate and try to enforce that and make the whole world feel like, you know, like I write. If I write, I write. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. That protest sh- yesterday clearly shows that hey, people rather get the coronavirus and bring it home and give it to their loved ones and infect them with it. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm. Then, I mean, just for them to just take the job work and help them. Mm-hmm. They, they, they're just so scared. Mm. You understand? But the Bible also says to obey the law of the land. Mm-hmm. That is what the Bible said. Obey the law of the land. Mm. Those people broke the law of the land by breaking the COVID regulation. I mean, I could I could be wrong, but I don't see nobody in groups of ten. Right. 
I, I didn't really see that. I, I watched the videos. I didn't see 10 people here or 10 people. I didn't see that. Right. I, was like, I could be wrong, but those people clearly broke the COVID regulations from what I saw in the video. Mm -hmm. There wasn't any groups at 10. The Bible said, Obey the law of the land. If Adam was here now, he would not have been in our protest. Correct. You understand? Um, just, um, I think Luke, Christ said in Luke chapter 9, I think it was Luke chapter 9, verse 60, he said, Let the dead bury their dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? Right. There's a lot of people in China that are walking around right now. Mm -hmm. That is, how to say, there is walking dead. Meaning they have no life in them. Mm -hmm. What is life? They have no wisdom. Mm -hmm. They have no knowledge. They have no. They don't have the laws of God in them. Then, so they have no wisdom. Mm -hmm. They don't understand that COVID is real. Cause some people say that they say COVID is real. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they're so scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just make up so much. Mm -hmm. As Christ said, let, let the dead bury the dead. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of us out there we just walking there because we don't have no life. Mm -hmm. We don't have no wisdom in we. We just lawless and unlawful. Mm -hmm. That is always. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know and that, yeah, go ahead. No, no, that's it. That's right. it. Agree with yourself. Yeah. yeah. Give me um, mm -hmm. Genesis seven. 7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Book of Genesis chapter 7 and verse 2. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens. Mm -hmm. The male and female. And of beasts that are not clean by two. Right. And his female. Right. So now, Adam, by knowing the law and gaining wisdom from it, Adam taught his wife, Eve. Mm -hmm. And Eve, um, and Adam and Eve now taught their children. Right. right. And then their children passed on the laws to their children. Mm -hmm. Right. Through word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Right. It was passed on till it ended up to Noah. Because we reading right now, we reading about it is Noah. Right. Right. Yes, we know that um, Moses wrote it down and made it, made everything um, law in the book. Right. But before Moses had wrote it down, mm -hmm. Adam knew the law, mm -hmm. Noah knew the law, his children knew the law, his wife knew the law. Mm -hmm. Everybody had knew the law at a point in time without it being written down because through word of mouth, mm -hmm. when Adam got it from watching the constellations in the stars in the sky, because the Lord used to talk through Adam, through the, the stars right. in the sky. Mm -hmm. So Adam used to lie down, watch the stars in the sky, and however it's shaped, mm -hmm. that, is you, that is how the Lord used to talk to Adam. Right. And Adam knowing the laws like that, now he taught his wife, and she taught the children, and everything was passed on through them out. Just like today, you know, your, your, your mother or your father, or maybe your grandparents might tell you a story that happened to them in the past. You know, they pass it on through them out. That's right. That is how it was. So don't think that Adam, Eve, and them never had the law. They had it. Right, you just you just going to prove this is one of the things that to prove that they had the law. Read it over again, Genesis seven and two. Yes, sir. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Right. So Noah knew the law because he knew about clean beasts and unclean beasts. Give me right. ten Leviticus. For sure. Leviticus chapter eleven and verse one. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying. Unto them, verse two, speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Verse three. Mm -hmm. well. Whatsoever parted the hoof, and is cloven footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. Right. So, so when I read from one to four, you're just talking about the clean beasts and the unclean beasts. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Noah, Noah knew the law too, even though it wasn't wrote down. Right. right, Moses wrote it down. Mm -hmm. I mean, it official, right. but Noah and all had knew the law. That's it. So, give me the go back and read Genesis 2 and 7. So, now, we, so now we're going to talk about the dust. Now, what is the dust mm -hmm. we're going to talk about? Right. Go ahead. And the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Right, so I just explained to all always the breath of life. Mm -hmm. Right, so now we're going to explain what is the dust. The dust was not literal sand. Mm -hmm. Right, it wasn't literal sand. The Lord didn't take up sand from the ground and, and create people. No, right. that is Christian mumbo jumbo. Christian don't know the Bible, right? right? And all of them should just stop teaching the Bible, correct? And stop taking tithes from people. That's right. You understand? Right. Um, give me the one in it's Samuel. Samuel 20. Yeah. For sure. Right. 
the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 8, he raiseth up the poor out of the dust. Mm -hmm. So he raised up the poor out of the dust. The dust just means a low state. Mm -hmm. When you read Genesis 2 and 7, every human being that was on the earth was in a low state. Mm -hmm. The Lord saw one human being, right. took him out of that low state, took him out of that bad condition that he was in, took him out of that, he just eaten anything, he, he, he haven't sex with anything. Mm -hmm. The Lord didn't like that. He was in a low state. Mm -hmm. The Lord took him out of that poverty, that, that hell mm -hmm. that he was in. Mm -hmm. And said, you are going. I'm going to breathe the better life into your nostrils and you will have the law. That's right. So everybody was in a low state. The Lord took one man, gave him the laws, and called him Adam. Correct. That is what happened. That was the dust of the ground. Give me the one in Isaiah 52. For sure. The book of Isaiah yeah. chapter 52 and verse 2. Start from 1 or 2? No, 2. Okay. Shake thyself from the dust. Mm -hmm. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Mm -hmm. Shake thyself from the dust. That dust was just meaning Israel was in a low state. Mm -hmm. There was in a um, a captive state, poverty. Mm -hmm. It's like how black black and Hispanic people right now in a low state. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be ruling this earth right now, but we're not Sorry. ruling. Mm -hmm. You understand? We're not ruling at all. So we're in a low state. Mm -hmm. You understand? And what the Lord is saying here in Isaiah 52 is telling us, shake yourself off of that dust. Mm -hmm. Shake yourself off of that low state is and sit on the throne mm -hmm. so you could rule the earth. Right. That is what's going on here um, right now. Mm -hmm. um, give me the one in um, Genesis 2 and 21. For sure. Right? So again, the Bible is a black man's book and we just talk in metaphors. Right. right, so the Bible says God took what six days to complete the earth, mm -hmm. seven days he rested. It wasn't literal days, it was thousands of years. Mm -hmm. Right, God didn't, he didn't literally took days to create it, it's thousands of years. Right, right, so now we're going to explain this this deep sleep. Amen. Okay. Okay. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 21. And the Lord God caused the deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. Mm -hmm. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Mm -hmm. Again, another another metaphor. So this deep sleep, again, Christians go say, you know, the Lord, um, mm. some some um, doctor maybe gave him some surgery and pay him to sleep. Mm. And he, he lie down and he snore. Mm. You know, and the Lord do surgery on him or whatever. That, that, that is not that deep sleep. This is a black man's book. Black people wrote it with us talking metaphors. That's right. right. The majority of metaphors is in Genesis, mm -hmm. the majority. You know, and that deep sleep was just like um he was unaware. That's right. You know, and it's like two people are having a fight and um the man might just get a, a punch, mm -hmm. and and you know he was like, where that hand come from? You know he didn't see it. Right. It didn't mean he was literally sleeping, but he was just unaware. The, the man like he was so quick. Mm -hmm. He was unaware. Mm -hmm. That is what happened here. Um, in the Bible, in the Bible, read it over again. That's what. Genesis chapter two, verse twenty-one. And the Lord God caused the deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Mm -hmm. So he was just unaware. Mm -hmm. That is what he was talking about. Give me the Isaiah twenty-nine and Definitely. ten. The book of Isaiah chapter twenty-nine, and verse ten. For the Lord had poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. Mm -hmm. So the Lord poured out of you the spirit of deep sleep. Um, go ahead, get Go ahead. Yes, sir. Right? And have closed your eyes. And have closed your eyes. So, okay, so you're sleeping and the Lord closed your eyes. What I mean? You're blind? Mm. The Lord trying to say all black people blind, all Hispanic people blind? Mm. It doesn't mean that we're blind. It just means that we don't know the truth anymore. Mm -hmm. It just means that we're unaware of what's going on around us. Right. We feel the Chinese love us. But really and truly, they hate us. Mm -hmm. We feel the East Indians love us, but they hate us. Correct. We feel the Syrian community love us, mm -hmm. but they really hate us. Right. That's why they're raising the grocery prices on, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Right? The, the, the Chinese community, the, the, the East Indian community, raising the grocery prices on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. They don't love us. They know it's black people who are suffering in this country and they're still raising the grocery prices. That's it. And instead of the union leaders, come on. Mm and talk about increasing people's salary, one twenty thirteen salary. Mm. They rather come and talk about um 
the, this this job. Mm-hmm. Right. You understand? Whether whether you take the job or you ain't take the job. If you ain't pay courts or standard, they're calling you, you know. Right. Whether you, you take the job or you ain't take it, you know. Right. If you ain't pay the bank, the mm-hmm. bank calling you, you know. Mm-hmm. You understand? So mm-hmm. that is what the union leader is supposed to come and talk about. Right. Increasing um, people's salary so they can afford to go in the grocery mm-hmm. and they know buy a comfortable meal. I'm mm-hmm. um, going to feed their family. That is what union is and I'm supposed to be. Right. So, so this this deep sea period just means we was on our way. Mm-hmm. This when the, the Lord here in Isaiah say, you know, He have closed our eyes just means mm-hmm. we feel those other races love us, but they really hate us. Correct. We feel black on black crime is a result of mm-hmm. Obi and Voodoo. That is what we feel um, black and black crime is a result of. Mm-hmm. When really and truly black and black crime is a result of a systematic oppression That's it. that is placed on black people. Correct. That is, that is what we're causing black and black crime. But because we're not deep sleep, mm-hmm. we're walking around and we are deep sleep, we don't know that. We're on our way mm-hmm. of what's going wrong around us. Give me one of Romans 13. Okay. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now is high time, to awake out of sleep. Mm-hmm. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Right. For now is our salvation nearer. So, so um, Paul is saying, hey, Allah, wake up out of that sleep all in our mm-hmm. Our salvation is near. Mm-hmm. Paul, it, it doesn't literally mean Allah be sleeping on the ground snoring. Mm-hmm. It means Allah, Allah on our way, what's going on wrong, Allah on our way that the church. That's it. Is what encouraging um, crime? I believe right. this this the deputy mm-hmm. commissioner of police right. had made a statement like that. Mm-hmm. He said the religious leaders and them mm-hmm. is what um, encouraging crime. Right. Right. Correct. He said it in Correct. an article. Correct. <laughs> right. I'm right. So that is what Paul and them was talking about. All the stop. All the going to church. All the no. All the son. All the daughter. Might mm-hmm. might. 90 percent of the, the times he might end up getting raped or molested by the pastor or the, the, the somebody in the congregation Correct. all the stop send them to church now please mm-hmm. wake up out of that sleep or in a deep sleep mm-hmm. all right guys we right? Just have a minute mm-hmm. right um let me see again the rib the quick the rib. Yeah, sure genesis yeah. chapter 2 and verse 22 all right and the rib which the lord god had taken from man made he a woman and brought her in unto the man Right, right. So the rib was just a metaphor for family. Give me right. one in um, Genesis Amen. 20. The rib was just a metaphor for family. Right. The rib wasn't the Lord took a literal rib mm. from Adam bones right. and created a woman. The rib was just his people. That's right. The Lord was setting up different nations at that time. Correct. And the Lord, um, Adam's race of people, right. the Lord took a woman from that, his race of people, and gave right. it to him. The rib was not a little bone in his body. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Genesis chapter 29 verse 13. And it came to pass when Laban heard the tidings of Jacob, his sister's son, that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. And he told Laban all these things. Verse 14. And Laban said to him, Surely thou art my bone and my flesh right so when laban heard that he was jacob's family he said you are my bone and my flesh mm-hmm. you have read that in um, genesis 2 and 23 right? yeah. bone and flesh um let me go back to it. genesis 2 and um, 23 right genesis chapter 2 verse 23 and adam said this is no bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh right she shall be called woman right so that rib he called it bone of my bone flesh of my flesh she shall be called his woman right when you read genesis when laban when laban heard that jacob was mm-hmm. his family he mm-hmm. said you are my bone and my flesh That's right. so the rib was a metaphor for your family right right close 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 That's mm-hmm. it. Right. thank you so much for being a part of today's show sure. people we're gonna pause for a cause and we will be right back stay with us